Day Angel Island Immigration Station. My name is Brian I am, and I am the tour guide at the Angel Island Immigration Station. Today, you will be hearing and listening and watching the, um, the a story about about a poem, about three people looking for their great grandmother's poem. Oh, I see them coming now. Hi, my name is Roy Nick. This, welcome to the Angel Island Immigration Station. Is this your first time here? Yes, well, my grandmother, Chim Lee, was here too. We want to find a poem she wrote. My great grandpa on my other my great grandpa on my other side, Simon Will, was here too, but we don't know if he wrote a poem, he never said it. Most of the poems are unsigned. Some have been destroyed over the years. It may not be possible to find your great grandmother's poem, but let's see what we can do. She used to read it and recite it to my father, he, and he wrote it down in Chinese and in English. I don't know when I see it. But let's get started on our plan then. I'll just tell you about Angel Island as we walk. From the years 1910 to 1940, one million Asian immigrants came here to Angel Island. Some stayed days, some stayed weeks, months, and some even stayed for years. Sadly, some were sent back. What happened before that? My great grandfather came here during the gold rush, and I think somewhere in the 1850s or 1860s, something like that. Really, until 1882. The Chinese came to the United States to scrape up all the gold that they could find and then return. And then when they had enough, they would return back to China. Then when my great grandfather came here in winter, Gum Shan, the gold mountain, and he found it. He only went back to China to marry and bring his wife back. My family had no trouble coming back to America, but Chile, my grandmother, was stuck for six months. I still think it's so strange that your your grandmother and my grandfather were here at Angel Island at the same time. But they didn't know yet that you two would be born and meet and get married and that they would be related. That's true. My grandfather was having a hard enough time trying to keep his new name and his new history straight. He was a paper son. A merchant sponsored him. Would you like to hear your stories, Mr. Gay? Yes, please. Yeah. 
short story. Look, 
they release on men. Do you recognize any? Yay! We're free! Why do you think they finally let him go? What's the right thing to say to make Loki let you go? I, I wish I knew. Here, come sit by me. First, you take the yarn and wrap it around your finger like this. Jimmy Jim Jimmy Jim. Oh no. Jimmy Jimmy Saiga, it's your lucky day. Saiga, it's your lucky day. You're free. Weezy weezy. You have to go back. No, no, you can't take me back. Please run, please run. Say hi to you too. Yay! Thank you. 